Hi, as you may already aware that the Microsoft Teams is now available for personal use like we use Skype. Why Teams is important? Why do we need to switch from Skype? Because I anticipate a lot of new features that will be pumped into Teams and it will become one of the main stream of communication channel for many of us in the future. So let's quickly go through some of the features of Microsoft Teams. Like any other video conferencing, it has got personal chats, group chat, audio calls, video calls and many other features. I'm just trying from a web browser on a computer but to give you an idea that at this stage when I'm recording this video, this personal use feature is only available on mobile platforms like in Apple iPhones and Android devices with the latest release from Microsoft. There are two ways that you can register. One, have an account on Microsoft that's like Outlook.com, Live.com or Hotmail.com or download the Teams application and register with your phone number. Simply like what we do in WhatsApp. As you can rightly see, it is saying to use the mobile application and the versions are very important. Ensure that the one that you are installing it on mobiles are released after June 22nd, 2020. You can very well see that the information is already updated in the description of the app. Now click on the sign up for free, choose personal and give a mobile number to complete the registration. After the successful sign up, you might be interested to go to the settings. There are a few settings that you can explore if you're interested. You can set the image, you can change the uh, contact sync option and many other general settings. You can initiate a chat by clicking the chat button and choosing the recipient. On the same chat window, you can also see on the top, there is a video call and an audio call button available. You can initiate a call when you feel that you need to talk to them. And during the call, you have an option to put on hold or share screen option. You can choose to share a photo or a screen itself. And a red boundary line will be shown when you share something on your screen so that you know that something is shared from your screen. When you're done, press stop presenting option and then return to the normal call. You can add more people and to make it as a conference as well. That's all about video or audio calls. Now let's create a group. It is simple. Just create a group with people in it. So you have some settings which is available like allow join via link. You've seen some options in WhatsApp that you can share a link and ask the people to join to a WhatsApp group. Similarly, you have some settings. Please do explore. You also have a tab called dashboard like a media browser. And if you want to make a call to all members in a group, you can use the call button on top of the group. It will initiate a call to all members of the group. So now we have finished exploring one to one chat, a group. Now we have got something like a calendar. It's nothing but events. You can add events, get reminded. The next tab is more interesting that there's an integration with your personal OneDrive. You also have a tab called activity. It is nothing but feeds like you see in many social networking apps. I hope you enjoyed the quick 
overview of Microsoft Teams for personal use. Please do subscribe for the channel for more videos. My name is Praveen Balan, signing off.